Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maggie if you're new here and if you are returning, welcome back. First of all, I hope everyone's having a great day and thank you for clicking on my video. I make lifestyle videos, college videos, vlogs, some skincare, makeup, so if you're interested in things, make sure to hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more content from me. I don't know if this is just me, but I love seeing what other people have on their phones. And that is why I'm filming this what is on my iPhone video. So if you want to see what's on my iPhone, just keep on watching. First off, I have the iPhone SX, S, XS Max. I don't know. It's one of the huge ones. Um, I love my phone. Works great for me. But yeah, let's get right on into it. I'm going to start screen recording right now and throw up my phone on the screen and you open up here is the front page okay so this is about as aesthetic as my phone gets i made a whole video decorating my phone with the new ios 14 or whatever but since then i've like changed my apps and i haven't sticked with the aesthetic at all so this is the only page that is still standing from that video. I have the day of the week, the day of the month, and then a little widget that says good things never come from comfort zones. I'm a big quote person if you're new here. I love quotes. And then I just, and then I have my music app, my find my friends, settings, and photos, and then down at the bottom, my FaceTime, messages, camera, and phone. And then, okay, here's where you just lose the whole theme of um, the aesthetic. So you swipe the page, and the cool widget smiths are gone that I customize on the apps and then I just have a folder with my socials and then a folder with things that I pretty much use every day. So on my socials I have my Instagram, my Snapchat, my Visco, Twitter, which I never go on, Facebook and TikTok. I'm so curious, am I the only one who has like a pattern of socials that you go on before bed? Like for example my pattern is I'll go on Instagram and then Snapchat and then TikTok and then Visco. And then I shut my phone up and go to bed and it's like the same pattern every single night. Is that just me? Am I the only one with that has a pattern like that? <laughs> um, so then I have my everyday apps. So I have my Bank of America app, Mail, Safari, Starbucks, Notes, Amazon, Waze, and Venmo. I love this app that you can get with Widgetsmith where it puts a quote on your screen and it changes every few hours throughout the day. So... Um, like I said, I'm such a quote person, so I love reading those. And then, obviously, my wallpaper is pretty hard to miss. It's just a great reminder, and sometimes you have to be stern with yourself and make yourself remember to get it done, you know? And then the next page, there's another widget smith with a quote that says, We cannot become what we want by remaining what we are. And I just, I love that. I have my school folder. And this has Passport. Passport is what, like they use on campus for parking. Socratic, um, if you know, you know. That's all I'm gonna say about Socratic. Outlook, that's my school email. Group me for classes. Resident portal, that's what my apartment complex uses. And then Mathway, it just helps with math. It's kind of like a calculator. Gmail, Canvas, and then my UCF mobile. In my editing folder, I have Tezza, which is great for filters. Preview, which I haven't used in a while, because but essentially it like shows you how your feed is going to look when you get ready to go post a photo. Unfold, that's a cool collage app. DJI Go 4, that is for my drone. Lightroom, Lightroom I'll sometimes use. It's nice because you can like go into the individual colors and like really get down in the nitty gritty with Lightroom. Widget Smith, that is for the iOS 14 update. Afterlight, Daz Cam is pretty cool. It's just more filters. Retouch, this one's cool because you can like delete something in the background. Like let's say you're taking a picture outside and there's a fire hydrant behind you. You can like hover over the fire hydrant and it just deletes it out of the picture. It's pretty cool. And then my YouTube, I have Fonto, which is what I use to sometimes edit thumbnails. I have YouTube, YouTube Back Studio, and then photo grid that's all that's on my phone with the new update you can like swipe over and there's more apps that are saved there but those are just like the random ones like podcasts and um like a few workout apps that i don't use every day just think and i'm not a big game person like i don't have a lot of games on my phone because in my spare time or free time when i'm bored i'll like watch youtube or something like that that was a pretty 
quick and short and sweet video. It's February 1st. I just got done writing out all of my February goals and some big ones to accomplish this month. I have really been trying to pull the trigger on downloading a new editing software, Final Cut Pro, but it is so expensive that it's just like, I don't know if I can justify buying that yet. I know once I do buy it, it will be really worth it. It just, it stinks because I'm gonna have to learn a whole new editing software because I'm so used to iMovie now. But like I said, not a big deal. Um, there's so many YouTube videos out there. I get quite a few DMs, people asking me like, what I use to edit my videos, how I edit my videos, um, like how I edit my thumbnails, how I do this on iMovie, blah, blah, blah. And you guys, like I learn by looking it up. Like I look it up on YouTube how to do this. I look up on YouTube like how to make a thumbnail, how to, make like an end screen. I swear there's probably hundreds of answers for your one question that you have. If you just look it up on YouTube, it's like it'll pop up and it walks you through it. So that's how I've learned to edit and do all of that stuff. It's solely just like by looking it up and practicing. And oh, another thing that I wanted to touch on was I got a few comments on people saying to do more vlogs, which I would like would love to do. I love vlogging. I don't know what to vlog though. Like I feel like my days are so repetitive and I do the same thing every single day that I feel like I'm going to straight up just bore you guys because I feel like during quarantine my life has been pretty boring and especially with classes going, I don't know, I just feel like There we go, that's better. Um I feel like with quarantine and not being able to like go out and do much and also like being in the middle of school, I really like don't do all that much, but I'd love to do like a weekend vlog or something like that. If you guys have any suggestions for vlogs that I should do or that you guys wanna see, definitely leave them in the comments because I will see them and I will do them. I know someone requested to do um, a few videos on like the transfer process to UCF. I will be answering questions about that in my Q&A video that I think is going up Sunday. So stay tuned for that if you are one of the ones who've been asking about like the transfer process because I will be answering those questions in that video. I think it's time to wrap it up. It's so nice to be able to interact with you guys so much lately and respond back to your comments. I love reading your guys' comments. You're so sweet. It makes me so happy when you guys comment. So this video is going to go up Wednesday or Friday. I think I'm going to post an extra video this week. feeling really motivated. So I think I'm going to post an extra video this week um, on Friday. So it's either going to be this one or a different one. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry, it's like... My phone's not too juicy or anything. There's nothing crazy on it. This phone is cracked though, like, and the screen is cracked, and there's a whole line going down the screen because I dropped it. See that line? That's just straight down the screen. I'm really used to it now, but it was so annoying in the beginning. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe before you leave. Follow me on Instagram if you want to connect and become friends. I will see you guys on my next video. Bye guys. <laughs>